Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi. Welcome back to some more Initial D Special Stage Let's Play. Now, when we left off, the engine of the AE86 died. It's the standard 4 AGU. Um, 5 is 1.6 liters, doing as, mu as much as 150 horsepower. It's a sad time for Takumi because other than the engine blows, also his heart got blo his heart got blown too. I'm really I'm really sorry for the dude. Let's see how he dealt with this. ジョーチとのバトルで大破した分田の入手したエンジンの正体がつかめず、匠は悪戦苦闘する。時を同じくして、埼玉から86レビンに乗った兄弟が群馬にやってきた。目的の一つは、妹の秋山和美が親戚の旅館の手伝いをするため。もう
Then the next clash would be well something more on the technical side. Uh, Tak Wataru thought that Takumi was just acting dumb in front of Wataru. Uh, but uh, to tell you the truth, that Takumi is literally dumb in cars. And doesn't know that he was actually holding an AE101 TRD racing plant engine. Capable of spoiler warning 11,000 RPM with 250 horsepower to boot. Now! Alright, so he actually got into a fight with his sister, Kazumi, not Kazumi, Kazumi, because um, Kazumi was making good friends with Itsuki Takumi, and here comes her brother trying to make an ass out of himself. Trying to redeem himself, looks like uh, Takumi and Wataru had a little uh, cruise together down, down Akina, just for them to find out what is wrong with the Trueno. Now, remember, we're on the engine upgrade here. So, what we need to do here with the engine upgrade is primarily we need to shift beyond the RPM range. Because this thing is gonna stall like heck. It's not gonna show at this point of the game, but see there? We're getting a lot of ground as we keep it up. So in this stage, primarily what you need to do is to care less about what you are seeing on the taco meter and just shift up to 149 Woo! so close and while that's all happening let Wataru do his thing and be a nerd Okay, we're doing proper speeds at this point. Just look at the speeds we're getting at, guys. It's way beyond what we're doing earlier. Okay, we kind of stalled a bit there. So yeah, 145 above should be our shift point. We don't have any rivals. We don't have any rivals because Water is with us in the passenger seat. So we just try to impress him as much as we can. And unfortunately, we're doing a really bad... Um, we're doing it poorly. I guess at this point, uh, Water found out the reason why the 8.6 was really poor. And this simple, yeah, we're doing really poor because um, it's hard to actually keep the top speeds of the 8.6 with the racing engine with that very limited power band and the engine sound is not doing us any good either so let's see um, yeah we just got an A for that one to get an S we need to be uh, 3 minutes 5 I guess let's see what they have to talk about 
バカバカしいほど基本的なことだそのタコメーターじゃダメなんだ全然上が足りねえんだもっと回してやらなきゃダメなんだ俺の見込み違いでなくてこのエンジンは1万回転オーバーまで楽に分回るはずだこの車を仕上げた人間は恐ろしく車を熟知した人間だ足回りもブレーキもバランスよく強化されていてボディもしっかりしているそれなのになぜメーター類だけが取り付けられてないのか考えられる答えは一つだ何らかの理由があって意図的にパワーを封印してあるのさ今まで俺は八六乗りに仲間意識を持つことはあっても敵意を持ったことはなかっただがお前には絶対負けたくないと俺は今思っているいくら車を運転する技術がすごくてお前には走り屋として大事なものがぽっかりと欠けているぜお前にだけは絶対負けられない Wataru is extremely hyped about the racing engine. Despite the fact that he is helping a potential rival, he still did. However, I still question why he has to go hyper on throughout. Wataru's words were shocked and were more and more confused by Taku. そんなことなど構わず一方的にバトルを申し込む渡る渡ると戦うにはエンジンの真の性能を引き出さなくてはならないメカに詳しくない匠は池谷や店長に協力してもらい1万回転オーバーのタコメーターを取り付けるだがそれだけではまだ足りない使える上限の回転数を知っておかなければ全開のバトルはできないのだ俺さ今夜この車でバトルするのタコメーターを見つけたどこまで回転を上げていいのか1万1000回転までぴっちり回せブンタから回転数を引き出したタコメはバトルの舞台埼玉へと向かう。Looks like Bunt already showed us the seal, which is 11,000 RPM. So I actually did some researches here on the wiki. 8,000, 9,000, 10, 5 should be our shift points in any map. I'm not sure if I'm going to get out of here. 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 この後はポジションを入れ替えながら互いの気が済むまで徹底的にやろうぜ時間無制限のデスマッチだ俺はタフだこのルールで3回ゲロ吐いてそれでも勝ったことがあるからそれじゃあ行こうか目的地に着いたらハザードを点滅させて全開に突入するぞ Alright, I believe we're already at Shomaru at this point To give you a bit of a story background, um, to give you a bit of a story background, what would be the fact that uh, Takumi was able to complete the 8.6 on its current setup? That's one. Number two, Itsuki kind of broke the trust line when Kazumi decides to sleep in with him. I question how a cute girl such as Kazumi decides to go to Itsuki, but <laughs> oh come on, he uh, Itsuki needs a lot of life being the best friend of the protagonist. Now, the story plot aside, let's focus on the battle. And what you're seeing right now, guys, it's true. We're gonna be tackling Shomaru for the next three stages. First one is um, one round. Second one is going back. Round three would be going back up again. Now, main objective is one uh, round one and three. You should not be behind Wataru beyond 100 meters. Round two, you should not make him overtake. And round three is, of course, destroy him. Regardless, we will destroy him in all three rounds. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most stressful stage ever. Period. So, the only thing we'll need to do is, well, yeah. Make sure we don't fail. So 
let's see. And by the way, Sh Shomaru is only accessible here in Special Stage at night. But only when Arcade Stage 3 came out and the PSP version is where you can actually battle here in the day. The only hard part on dealing with Shomaru is the fact that it is so narrow. Wataru is in dead center. You cannot find a proper space to actually overtake. Now we found a proper space to overtake. And we're gonna keep it that way. There are no rules for you to say that you shouldn't. Um, there are no rules that you should not overtake water in round 1 and 3. Just do it for the sake of getting this done and dealt with. Unless you're really after recreating the story, as how it happened in the anime, feel free to suffer at your own risk. Yeah, before I actually had this hunch that um, you can't go beyond, beyond 100 kilometers in Shomaru. That's what I discovered when I was playing with one of my uh, best friends back in high school in Arcade Stage 3. Boy, was I wrong on that note. Though the penalties is really unforgiving. So I have to downshift a lot just to make sure I keep it on the 8,000 RPM power, power band. The only reason why I'm actually familiar with Shomaru is because of the PSP version. That's it. And I guess section 4 is the high speed section. Oh my god. Section 4 is the high speed section. And like I said, um, rubber banding does not happen in story mode. Oh, 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 I'm doing bad. I'm doing bad. Alright, is it the end already? Can I rest now? And we'll make a quick 360 in preparation for stage. Never mind. It's not over yet! Now we just cleared round one of three. Round two, he should not be passed. Or he should not let me go pass by you. Alright, this part is what I question about round two. Did he actually let, um, you know, rather than slowly pull behind us, did he actually do the same thing that Kyoichi did? But never mind, we don't have time to question his motives. We have to contend with Shomaru about this. And by the way, your total time continues from where you last left off. So your performance in all three stages counts. And if you decide to retry, you're gonna be doing round one all over again. Alright, and make sure when you go to gear 5, it is above 105 kilometers to get the most out of the new engine.
this moment you drop or hit a wall at gear 5, go back to gear 4 to save yourself the trouble. But we can go to gear 5 in this upcoming corner. The strength, the greatest strength of the 86 racing engine is always to make sure you keep it at the 8000 RPM power band and higher. It's the only. Oh my god, no! There we go. Yeah, look at the acceleration pickup if it's on the 8000 RPM range. You're practically unstoppable at this point. You really have to cut corners in every chance that you get around Shomaru. It's gonna be hard to chain them all if you're really not used to this very narrow course. Okay. Oops, I went in too early. Because the very hard part about this, well, let's just, um, we're not gonna bother waiting for Water to finish the statement. He says the same things over and over again for the next three rounds. Um, the really hard part, if you're really not used to the physics of the game, and if you're not in a cappuccino, is that the rear end is always hitting everything in sight. That's the only hard part about this game. Alright, so we have one more round. Again, he would be ahead. And here, you really need to destroy Wataru. But what we're doing right now, we're still going to destroy him nonetheless. Time doesn't really matter, but if you're after S ranks, it does matter. Right, I actually never I actually never expected to overtake Wataru that early and that smoothly. This deserves a replay guys. I mean if the game would allow me to replay just round three, then let's do it. We're performing really well. Never mind. In the original, okay, shut up, Wataru. All right. In the original story, they actually dealt with this for five rounds. Imagine going around Shomaru up and down for five straight rounds in an eight-six. You're gonna get so fed up with this stage and it's gonna be the most cringe-worthy stage ever made if they decide to do it for five straight rounds. If you notice, every time I hit a wall from the outside, or if my tail decides to hit something, I always shift up and shift down right after. 
that way the speed latency would still be retained despite the fact I'm doing so poorly. I never expected we're hitting 125! Ah! This is what I meant guys. The moment you started performing poorly, that's what happens to the AE101 racing engine. It loses a lot of pace and potential and we just hit 10 minutes. It's supposed to only last, I don't know. Well, the last time I did this, I hit it around 12 because it's like 3 minutes and a half per lap on my bad performance. And that concludes! For sure! Because of that last crash, I take back what I said. We're not gonna watch the replay anymore, guys. It's really stressful as this. Look at the time! And that concludes second stage. So we'll be moving on forward to third stage on the next part. Hey, we actually got an S! Despite my poor performance, we actually got an S! So round 1, 325, 222, 323. And to think in round 3, we actually hit 125 kilometers! And yeah, it, uh, the last part is a bit anticlimactic there, but then again, we're gonna cut it right here before we get on to the third stage battles in Takumi's route. So, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe please. And continue to share it. Um, again, same cap applies when we're going to go to the next points. And so, this is Miyogi saying see you guys in the next part.